The date is 21st of January 1945. Task Force 38 is closing in on Japan to hit airfields on Sakishima Islands and Formosa. While the flight conditions are perfect for the American flight groups, the task force is also a clear target for Japanese bombers and kamikaze attacks. USS Langley already suffered a bomb hit just after noon from a Japanese aircraft. Not long after that, a kamikaze plane broke out of the clouds, dived on Ticonderoga and managed to get through the anti-aircraft fire. The first kamikaze plane hit Ticonderoga, crashing between the aircraft part on the flight deck and bursting into a huge fireball. The bomb of the Japanese plane crashed through the flight deck and exploded above the hangar, setting the nearby planes on fire and killing several men working there. The damage control groups were ordered into action to contain the fire and save the carrier. Captain Kiefer turned the ship to keep the fire out of the wind and ordered the magazines to be flooded to prevent ammunition explosions. Several other compartments were flooded on the port side until the carrier was at a 10 degree list. The fire control parties and other crewmen worked together to dump the burning aircraft aboard and extinguish the flames. The ship's deck must have been hell at that point, with the crew fighting the flames and taking care of the wounded while the anti-aircraft guns still fighting off other Japanese planes. They managed to shut down another three approaching aircraft, which all missed the carrier and crashed into the sea, but one Japanese pilot managed to make it through the hail of anti-aircraft fire. It crashed into the carrier's starboard side near the island. The plane's crash and its bomb going off injured or killed another hundred men and set more of the carrier's aircrafts on fire. Luckily Ticonderoga managed to escape further attacks after that, and the firefighting group's efforts slowly paid off as they controlled the fire and slowly cleared the burning deck. Around 1400 hours in the afternoon they managed to bring the fires under control and the decision was made for Ticonderoga to retire from the battle as with her riddled flight deck, loss of aircraft and countless wounded she was not able to perform further operations. Now the fire out, the crew's main task was to tend to their wounded and dying mates as the stricken carrier pulled back from the battle. Three days later, on 24th of January, she arrived at Ulithi Atoll, which in World War II was a major naval base supporting the island hopping campaign, moved her wounded to a hospital ship and transferred her remaining aircraft to USS Hancock. Since Ticonderoga needed major repairs, she left the lagoon on 28th of January and headed for the US to Puget Sound Navy Yard. She arrived at the Navy Yard on the 15th of February. Her repairs were finished on the 20th of April and she sailed out again on the following day towards Hawaii. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and in the comments let me know if there's any interesting events or vehicles you'd like to see.